All right. If we could all please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Um, and at the close of the pledge, I would ask that uh, if we could all observe a moment of silence. Um, unfortunately, in the last couple weeks, uh, we lost uh, two longtime uh, City of Trenton employees um, and former City Controller Christine Arnosky um, and former Parks and Recreation Director Pat Hawkins. Um, so if we could uh, observe a moment after the pledge um, in their honor. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Alrighty, we'll call this meeting to order at 7.02 p.m. Madam Clerk, if you'd like to call the roll. Juan Crooks. Here. Benedetti. Here. Kiaba Watton. Let's see. Present. Hey, we can hear you this time. All right. Hey, welcome aboard. <laughs> and, and Scott, can you please state what city and state you're in and reason for not being in attendance? Yes, I am in uh, New York City, New York. Um, I am here to assist. Um, I am not here tonight in person. I'm assisting my wife in her recovery from surgery um, in New York City. Thank you. Hornbeck? Here. Perugi? Here. Rodriguez? Here. Rosepa? Here. Quorum present, Mayor Rosepa. Thank you, Madam Clerk. First item we have on the agenda is the minute approval of the July 1st, 2024 regular meeting. I was so moved. Support. Moved and supported. Any further discussion? Seeing none, it's unanimously so ordered. Thank you. Uh, next up, we have uh, public comment regarding items on the agenda. Uh, this portion of public comment is reserved exclusively for items that are on today's agenda for the regular meeting here. Uh, we'll have another opportunity for public comment at the close of the meeting, um, and then certainly another one as well um, after the study session, too, um, once we get that information out. So we'd ask that anyone will, uh, <coughs> wishing to speak, please begin with your name and address, direct all questions through me, and please limit your comments to five minutes. Uh, we'll go to any folks in person first, then those on Zoom here. So. Nope. Hi, uh, Josh K, 2860 West Jefferson. Um, I just wanted to speak on the Rivertown um, application that I put in. Um, I did forget to notate on there that it will be acoustic music like we have had. Um, I think we've, I don't want to speak too soon here, but I think we've come to a, an agreement um, collectively together and found a compromise. Um, they. Uh, I think that path was was achieved. I think what everybody set out to do, I think we're all generally happy. I don't think anybody's 100% where they want to be. I, I, I feel comfortable I am. And they've all been wonderful, wonderful neighbors and very helpful people. So I think we're there. I don't want to speak for, um, but we do have some of my friends here to, to go that direction too. So I just wanted to make sure I didn't put on there that it is acoustic music, but it will be acoustic music and it will be limited to the dates and times that are on there. Gotcha. All right, thank cool. you guys. Thank you very much, Josh. Appreciate it. I don't need to turn that on after all. All right. Mayor and Council, good evening. Michael Chungan, 2932 Riverside Drive in Trenton. And yes, we neighbors did have an opportunity to speak with Josh, and we've come to a resolution, and he stated the terms of it. Again, uh, we met a few times and canvassed all of the uh, the neighbors and we expressed our concerns and we've got a good dialogue and but certainly with respect to this permit we are in, in agreement and we've also made it such that if other concerns come up something maybe ancillary to this type of uh, permit we know how to get a hold of each other and we'll take care of it before we come back and see this wonderful body but thank you very much appreciate thank it you. thank you sir Great. all right anyone else for items on today's agenda not seeing, any, not seeing any on zoom we'll move right on along then thank you uh we'll go to general now um under 33rd district court fines costs and fees for june of 2024 i will defer to uh, our court delegate councilwoman bond crooks yes thank you mayor i'd like to make a motion to receive and place on file the uh, costs and fines due to the city of Trenton in the amount of $7,729. Moved and supported. Any further discussion? Seeing none, it is unanimously so ordered. Thank you, Councilwoman. Mm -hmm. 
All right, we've got uh, now five uh, special event applications here, so I will uh, defer to you, Madam Clerk, uh, and so hopefully some exciting things to come. But uh, first one we have, uh, coincidentally, from Rivertown Tavern, out outdoor music on Friday <laughs> nights, uh, if you'd like to take it from there. Sure. Rivertown Tavern is asking for approval to have outdoor entertainment on Friday nights beginning July 19th through August 30th, and this would be from 5 to 9 p.m. on Friday nights. So moved. Support. Support. Moved and supported. Any further discussion? Councilman Perugia. Yes, can you let the record show that uh, on the application is not there that it's going to be acoustic? Okay. Yep, we can definitely add that in. Outdoor ac acoustic music. <coughs> Anything else, Councilman? No, I'm set. Thank okay, you. Cool. Mm -hmm. Any other discussion? Councilman Benedetti? Yeah, it's not really towards the application, but this is what we're happy with. You guys all need to know. Talk to Mr. Chung and talk to you. This is what we hoped for, what, two meetings ago when we met at the Westfield Center. So I want to say, and I think the rest of the council speaks, thank you guys for getting together, coming to an agreement, because it makes Trenton what it is. That way you can get along. We're not going to keep fighting about this stuff. So I really appreciate that. Thank you. Great. Thank you, Councilman. Seeing nothing else, uh, it is unanimously so ordered. Uh, next up, we have from St. Paul Lutheran Church, the Healthy Trenton 5K uh, one-mile run or walk. Okay, thank you. St. Paul Lutheran Church is, again, um, asking for permission to hold their Healthy Trenton 5K one-mile run walk on Saturday, July 27th, the one-mile event to begin at 8 a.m. to approximately 8.25 a.m., and the 5K event to begin at 8.30 a.m. to approximately 9.45 a.m. All runners, walkers, will go against traffic on Charlton and Westfield Road, enter the paved path at Strom, and this will be under supervision of volunteers and under the direction of the police department. I would so move. So move. Support. Moved and supported. Any further discussion? Seeing none, it's unanimously so ordered. Um, and also for the record, Councilman Cabawatton, just if you, if I don't see you, if you have your hand up or anything like that, please feel free to chime in too, so just in case. Uh, all right. Uh, next up we have from the Open Book Theater Company, uh, free outdoor theater. Thank you. The Open Book Theater Company is asking for approval to hold an outdoor free theater at their parking lot at 1621 West Road on Saturday, August 17th from 3 to 5 p.m. So moved. Support, support. Moved and supported. Any further discussion? Seeing none, it's unanimously so ordered. Thank Two to you. go. Uh, next up, we have Trafford Square LLC, the shopping center's 50th anniversary event. Yes. Trafford's, um, the owner of Trafford Square is asking to have a 50th anniversary party on September 21st at um, their parking lot there at Trafford Square. They address is 3000 to 3116 Van Horn, and this would be from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. I would so move. Support. Support. Moved and supported. Any further discussion? Seeing none, it's unanimously so ordered. Um, and then last under this section, at least here, uh, from the Vintage Market Mercantile, uh, which is night out. Okay, thank you. The Vintage Market is asking for approval to hold a Witches Night Out in conjunction with the Parks and Recreation Department on Saturday, October 26, from 4 to 9 p.m. This would be downtown Trenton at the, and then um, also at the Cultural Center. So they're looking to have trolley services to and from the Cultural Center to downtown and also asking for the road closure of St. Joseph on both sides of West Jefferson ending at the alley um, on St. Joseph at each part. This would be under the direction of the police department. Have it so move. Support. Support. Moved and supported. Any further discussion? Councilman Rodriguez? Uh, on the second page it says October 25th instead of the 26th. Can we get that fixed? Um, oh, just on her application? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah, okay. it would be on Saturday, October 26th. You scared me there. I'm like making sure it's <laughs> yeah, Saturday. Saturday is the 26th. I checked yep. earlier. Yep. Saturday, October 26th. Yeah, Thank that's just a typo on her application, but we can cross that out and make it 26. Thank you. Right. Actually, Thank you. actually, you know what that is? That must be for the following year. 
Dora. So that says annual event. If it gotcha. goes well, yes, last okay. Saturday before Halloween. So that must be the date in 2025. Okay. But she'll come back next year in 2025 to request it again. So we're not approving it for 2025 now. We're just doing it for 2024. Got you. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you, Thank you. Any further discussion? Seeing none, it's unanimously so ordered. So thank you, Madam Clerk. I'll give you one last uh, agenda item here. Um, from Under groups and organizations, uh, we have from Bill Labar, the Turn the Town Teal. Okay, Mr. Labar is coming before us again. Um, he does this each year, which is wonderful. He is asking for permission to the volunteers associated with Turn the Town Teal, a national campaign to create awareness of ovarian cancer, to tie ribbons in the city of Trenton for the month of September. I would so move. move. Support. Moved and supported. Any further discussion? Councilman Perugia? Yes, I'd just like to note that I appreciate Mr. Labar's um, effort to come into the council for our approval. I think that that's a very good thing to do as, as it relates to his uh, cause. It's the ribbon is the same color for pancreatic cancer, which is um, dear to my heart. And also I would like to thank him as well for, like I said earlier, to come into this council because some special groups do not do that. They just decide to post things in the city without our approval. So I just want to say thank you for that. Thank you, Councilman. Any further discussion? Seeing none, it is unanimously so ordered. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Thank you. All right, we'll go to department heads and officials. Uh, the first item we have here is from our city administrator um, to reschedule a regular council meeting of Monday, August 5th, 2024 to Wednesday, August 7th, 2024. Yeah, thank you, Mayor and Council. Before you have a request to move the regular, regularly scheduled council meeting from August 5th to August 7th, still at 7 p.m. So moved. Support. support. Moved and supported. Any further discussion? Councilman Why Councilman are we moving groups. the meeting? What's the reason? Well, the, the primary reason is because August 6th is um, the election day and we've pretty regularly run into issues going that day before with timing with the clerk's office and everything else. And we also have the open voting um, leading up to the uh, election. So it would just be more convenient and easier to be honest for us. as well, I would have been unavailable that following Monday. Oh. So it was more of, yeah, just. I uh, just wondered if there was. No, yeah, no, on. nothing. Uh, and, and because Moros is open on Wednesday. Oh, that's a better <laughs> idea. Good, good Al. Well, yeah, just to coincide with the election to give uh, the clerk and election workers the time for all their setup, um, and then normally would have moved it back to one Monday, but I wouldn't have been available. So sure, good. Okay, thank you. Yep. Any further discussion? Seeing none, it's unanimously so ordered. Uh, next from the city attorney, Mr. Ackerman, uh, Ordinance Eight One Nine Stormwater Management First Reading. Thank you. Before you, it's a resolution. You're provided with the revisions to the existing adopted Trenton Code of Ordinance Chapter 98 on stormwater management. This addresses the changes in the state's required uh, permitting requirements and the Wayne County stormwater standards following the state's minimum performance and design standard. This has been submitted to Eagle and has now been reviewed. Eagle has not commented, which means they don't object. Your approval is therefore being requested. I would so move. Support. Support. Moved and supported. Any further discussion? Seeing none, it is unanimously so ordered. Thank you. Uh, we've got two items from our controller now. Ms. Cooper, first up, the 2023 MERS actual actuarial valuation. Uh, yes, good evening. Um, so included in your packet was the December 31st, 2023 MERS actuarial valuation in special letter. Um, the plan is now 71% funded, which is calculated as a percentage of valuation of assets, um, which were 35,143,824 to the um, actuarial accrued liabilities of 49,344,859. The percent funded increased by 1% from the previous year. <coughs> the unfunded liability is $14,201,035, which is a decrease of $794,303 from the prior year. Um, so I was just looking for um, a motion to move, receive and place on file the December 31st, 2023 MERS actuarial valuation and report. 
So moved. Support. Moved and supported. Uh, any further discussion? But before that, I just want to say you're always allowed to bring us good news with the uh, better funding ratios. <laughs> so we like you, that. Thank you. Uh, any further discussion? Anyone have anything? Seeing none, it's unanimously so ordered. Thank you. Uh, next up, we have the uh, request to enter a one-year contract with Constellation as the city's natural gas distributor. Uh, yeah. So last December, um, Council approved a 10-month contract with Constellation to provide gas dis distribution services to the majority of um, the city's gas meters. Um, at that time, we weren't able to move um, some that were still under contract with DTE, um, which serviced the rink and library um, in the Westfield Center. Um, so that contract um, expires September 30th of 2024. Um, so I'm just looking to move uh, the additional meters over to Constellation. Um, I haven't had any issues. Um, we've seen some savings, which have been nice. Um, so with your approval, I would like to continue a one-year contract with Constellation um, beginning November 1st of 2024 to October 30th of 2025. Um, uh, so looking for a motion to approve the one-year constellation, one-year contract with constellation. So moved. Support. Moved and supported. Any further discussion? Councilman Perucci. Yes, once, once we make the switch over, what kind of benchmarks or KPIs are you going to do to see if this was worth our while to switch over to them? Um, we track, even on the, the bills themselves from Constellation Tracks, the usage. Um, we have the same data from DTE, so we'll be able to compare those. Okay. And, of course, so just the, the savings that hopefully we'll see um, in right. our GL. Well, month. thank you. Mm -hmm. oh. Thank you. Oh. And Councilwoman Rodriguez. I just like to say thank you so much for keeping an eye on this. I've been looking forward to seeing this on our agenda. Thank you. Um, the savings of thirty-five thousand plus for our constituents in the city is going to be amazing. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. it. And that's it. Good. Thank you. <clears throat> Any further discussion? Seeing none, it's unanimously so ordered. Thank, thank you, you so very much, much Jill. All right, next up from our DPS director, Mr. Sargent, we have a request to advertise and receive bids for the Helen Street sewer replacement project. Thank you, Mayor. In 2017, the City of Trenton, in partnership with Fishbeck, conducted an asset management plan on our sanitary sewer system through Eagle's Saw Grant program. We were able to identify current and future needs of our sewer system. The sewer that services the houses on the north side of Helen Street was identified as critical and needing replacement due to failures in the pipe joints. This 8-inch clay sewer was originally installed in 1945. This project would consist of replacing up to 700 feet of 8-inch clay sewer with new 12-inch PVC pipe and all associated taps. This project has been budgeted for in the sewer contractual services account. Therefore, I'm requesting authorization for our city engineer to advertise and receive bids for the replacement of the Helen Street sewer that services the houses on the north side. How is so move? Support. Support. Moved and supported. Any further discussion? Seeing none, it's unanimously Thank so you. ordered. Thank you, Kevin. Right, and the last item we have here is from our Parks and Rec Director, the Elm Street parking lot improvements. Um, I'd actually request um, that we can table this to the next meeting. Um, we've just got one other uh, box to check that uh, we found out about this afternoon here just to make sure everything is in order. Um, so if I, someone could so move. put this on the table. Thank you. Uh, moved and supported to table this item. Any further discussion? Seeing none, it's unanimously so ordered. So thank you all, um, and we should have that one back um, at that first August meeting, just to make sure that we've got our I's dotted and T's crossed. Uh, Madam Clerk, do we have any late items tonight? No, we do not. All right. I will now defer to our Mayor Pro Tem, Councilman Benedetti, for our disbursements and statements, and then our reports. Thank you, sir. Moved to approve the authorized disbursements July 15, 2024, amount of $1,352,688.08. Support. Support. Moved and supported. Any further discussion? Seeing none, it is unanimously so ordered. Moved to receive and place on file the following reports. The financial summary, June 30th, 2024. Scheduled investments and in cash on hand, June 30th, 2024. DDA authority minutes, June 13th, 2024. Historical commission minutes, June 10th, 2024. Fire Department Monthly Report, June 20th, 2024, and the Police Department Monthly Report, June 2024. Support. Moved and supported. Any further discussion? Seeing none, it's unanimously so ordered. Thank you, Councilman. 
All right, we'll go to other council business now. Um, I will be very brief. I just want to remind folks um, that uh, either here or watching at home on uh, YouTube or uh, on the cable channel um, that we do have a study session that's going to start right after this. Um, so even though it looks like our business is done here, we're going to segue right into that. Um, to go over the uh, bulk of the question and answers that we've gotten um, about the bond proposal um, on the August ballot here. Um, and I do want to remind everyone again um, that there is, uh, we've got the meetings uh, from uh, presentations from our police chief, our fire chief, um, and our parks and rec director um, on YouTube um, and available online uh, to watch to get real uh, the real detailed nitty gritty um, analysis from them on what this would actually do for each of the departments, um, what their current needs are, things of that nature. Um, that can all be found on our city's website as well, um, along with a host of other documents. Um, and do want to remind everyone that, yes, while we're going to go through what you know, is the summation of most of the questions that we have received um, on this, that uh, we are all still available to ask any or to answer any other questions um, that you might have even outside of that. Um, we had the Google form that was posted that collected uh, a lot of questions from folks online, um, and we compiled those together to try and get the broader themes uh, answered out. So, um, you know, if there was a question that you may have had about, uh, you know, when is my trash getting picked up or things like that, that might not necessarily um, apply to this um, then it might not get answered tonight but again that's also something that we would be more than happy to answer um, if you want to just give us a, give us a call at City Hall um, send us an email pop on in um, we're certainly more than happy to so while this should uh, take care of a lot of uh, the questions um, along with the other information that we've got on our website and on social media and things like that that should um, provide good summaries that again uh, over these next couple weeks we are certainly more than happy to do our best to answer any others that uh, we possibly can so uh, tune in and uh, we should have some more good information coming your way. So that's all I have uh, this evening for us here um, before we get started on that. So we'll go to the rest of council now. Um, and Councilman Cabawatton, I've actually got you up first here this evening. Wow, Mayor, thank you. Can you hear me? Yep. Okay, good. Um, <laughs> I, I don't have too much to say. I'll save my comments for hopefully when we return back to town, but um, just want to um, just to extend our appreciation to everybody's support what uh, um, who's been following our family here over the last couple of weeks and um, also like to uh, extend our condolences to those uh, former employees uh, that uh, we've recently lost so other than that that's all I have tonight great thank you councilman we appreciate you being here and uh, we will look forward to uh, seeing you guys back soon so I'll send in our well wishes that's for sure okay. all right uh, councilwoman Rodriguez I do not have anything this evening, Mayor. Thank you. All right. Uh, Councilwoman Bond Crooks. Mm, yeah, just a few things tonight. Um, I w was wondering if we could look into King, the King Road light at Grange um, in Trenton. That, that light, see, I don't know if we've looked into it for many years, but there's a constant you know, flow of traffic back there. I've, I've seen accidents there. The residents are concerned about it. I've gotten a few phone calls and um, somehow the county or whatever I think needs to put in a turn light there, you know, green arrow, okay. because I don't know if other people are having issues, but it seems like a very dangerous corner. And I, I go down there uh, almost every day. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was just wondering if we could look into it, because I mean, when there's traffic coming both ways and the b big trucks going into the landfill and everything, we, we get one, you get one car that can make that light and other cars are trying to rush it because they've waited so long. And then they're swerving around each other, and it's just to me a very dangerous corner. I've had a lot of people, you know, say something to me like, "Why haven't we done something about it mm -hmm. sooner?" But I just think that's a really dangerous corner. I think we should really look into it and maybe refer it to our traffic safety commission and, you know, see what we can do there because yeah, to me we'll, it's dangerous. We'll absolutely have our or between our police department, and then we'll put the bug in Wayne County's here given a county road and all but I yeah right. that's a tough intersection yeah sure. it, it, so, it is it's getting worse too with that new dispensary that opened there and the, the business there's more businesses down mm -hmm. there now and the residents are trying to get home and it's yep. just it just seems it's like it's getting worse yeah yep so just a thought yep absolutely. that's one uh, one thing tonight um another thing I'd like to send my condolences to the families of Pat Hawkins our uh, chief of police his father I worked with him many, many years here, and he, he was just an unbelievable, stellar man and a great Parks and Rec director. And uh, it's just a shame. I you know, was very shocked to hear of his passing, and uh, I want to send my condolences and prayers to their family. 
and also Chris Arnowski, our former city controller. She's just a very smart, wonderful lady, and uh, we lost her too, and it worked many years with her, so her family is still local, and I sure would like to send my condolences to them. Um, also, I'd like to send my condolences to this country and uh, what happened over the weekend with uh, former President Trump is a shame. It's a shame that this country is coming down to this kind of stuff. And it's just uh, my prayers and thoughts go out to their families and the, not only President Trump, but also the families that were injured and lost in that situation. You know, it's just, it's hard when you see almost the President of the United States formerly uh, get assassinated and, uh, and that would be terrible. So that could have happened. And uh, it's just a shame. So uh, I hope this country comes together and unifies and uh, make this a more peaceful nation for all of us. Because we all sit here as elected officials, and you don't know who's angry, who's not. And uh, I've sat here through many angered residents, angered business people, and kind of, but no nothing like that would ever come to pass, hopefully, here. But uh, over the weekend, it was a trying time, and uh, I wish to all those families the best um, on a local level here, you know. From our from our city, um, I think uh, that's about it. Except I'd like to say a big congratulations to our fire chief Keith Anderson uh, on getting married last week, and uh, I hope you and your wife have a wonderful life together. It's great. It's nice to see you happy. So other than that, I'll be quiet, and <laughs> that's it for tonight. Hey, thank right. you, thank Thanks. you, Councilman. No, we appreciate that. Thank you. All right, uh, Councilman Benedetti. Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, I missed it. Well, I, I should stop reading my notes while I'm talking then. <laughs> Councilman Real Benedetti. Nice, Mayor. I appreciate that. You can wear that one uh, for a little while there, too. I'll remember that. <laughs> um, no, so, yes, I want to send my condolences out to Chris's family also and uh, Pat's family. Um, I, you know, Pat did work here, like everybody said. They're both great employees. I dealt with Chris when... We, when I worked in the fire department through negotiations and things, and she always had a sense of humor because some of you know I sometimes speak my mind pretty openly. Um, but, uh, you know, she took it, didn't take it to heart, didn't hold it against me. Um, and then, of course, Pat was, you know, even after he left here, he helped us. You know, if he knew we were doing stuff, he would give us some advice or reach out to us and tell us about things we could do and look at. And... Uh, so, you know, it shows that they care even after they're gone from working here, that they like this city, they liked living here, they liked working here and wanted to see it progress. Um, lastly, so there's been a lot of things I know we're gonna have our study session after, but again, I mean, I really hope the people that are out there are asking the questions. If you have questions, you have to get them to us about this bond proposal. I know there are a lot of questions, comments out there, and maybe some of the people here tonight are here to talk and I'm happy to see that but you know I'm not gonna hide it I've always said that we we have we have been dealt this hand it was neglected for years and this is something we take have to take a hard look at and it's something we need to do if we are going to keep trotting where it is and keep it moving forward these are hard decisions that we the seven of us have to make and you know we're stuck with that it's the hand we're dealt there are ways we can get around it and we're gonna try getting through it and this is what we're going to try pulling off. That's it. Good. Thank you very much, Councilman. I got it right that time. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Councilwoman Hornbeck. Uh, yep, just a couple of things. Um, the T Trenton Baseball and Softball Association wrapped up their rec season. I know travel's still going a little bit, and just want to say congratulations to them on their 40th anniversary yes. in Trenton. My son, both my sons, have been a part of TBA over the years, and it's a great organization. And I love spending my summer on the ball fields with them. Um, and also, thanks to those who, uh, and there's a lot of you out there, engaged uh, on social media about the bond. I've answered about a million questions, and I feel like I'm playing whack-a-mole. I try to answer everyone I see that comes up. So if I miss it, please feel free to throw it out there again. Um, I was trying to get to them all, but I'm sure I missed some. But it was a really respectful discourse for the most part, and um, people really you know, just want to make an informed decision. So I really appreciate that. And that's all I've got. Great. Thank you very much, Councilwoman. Councilman Perugi. Thank you, Mayor. I just have one item, and that's just to remind everybody that Jazz on the River is on August 3rd and 4th, which is a Saturday and Sunday. It's a great uh, event, 
It's at Elizabeth Park, so if you have time, it's a very, very entertaining weekend. So have, have a good night. Great. Thank you very much, Councilman. All right, we'll go to our other electeds now. Madam Clerk, do you have anything? Um, I do. I have some dates to throw out at everybody. So next Tuesday, July 23rd is our deadline. If anybody wants to run for um, the school, oh my gosh, the Trenton School Board. Sorry, I lost. I should have wrote a note for myself. So Trenton School Board petitions are available in the clerk's office. So if you would like to run for school board or you know anybody that would be interested in running for school board, please have them come to the clerk's office. Deadline is July 23rd by 4 p.m. And then the following Saturday, July 27th, starts our early voting. So if you're interested in voting early, you can vote here at City Hall in person from July 27th all the way up until the Sunday before the election, which is August 4th is the last day for early voting. They can still vote absentee on August 5th, and then the polls will be open on August 6th from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. And then our next regular council meeting will be on the Wednesday, August 7th at 7 p.m. Great, thank, thank you, me. Madam thank Clerk. Thank you. Uh, Madam Assessor, do you have anything? Nothing All right, thank you. Our Treasurer, do we have Mike here? Mandy, do you have anything? All right, nothing from the Treasurer's Office. Any of our department heads have anything for us tonight? Nope. All right, we get your questions during the study session. Good. All right, we'll go now to uh, public comment here. Um, anyone wishing to speak, please begin with your name and address. Um, direct all questions through me, and please limit your comments to five minutes. Um, we'll, uh, and again, just a reminder, we'll start the study session right after here, too, and have public comment during that, too. So if there's anyone uh, wishing to speak, don't see any on Zoom. Right, seeing none, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn at 7.33 p.m. So moved. Support. All right, moved and supported for adjournment at 7.33. And uh, don't go anywhere because we're going to get started right away here. So, Dean, if you want to head up to the podium. Mm -hmm.